Hello everyone. Hello everyone. In continuation to our previous videos, we'll now look into the drilling strategy and how we can remove out and create those holes. So to start off with, I would like to first, as per as per the industry standards, we first add a spot and then we do the drilling. So we'll follow the same methodology with the drilling strategies and look at what are the other options available. So just to give you a recap of what we had done earlier, we had done a facing strategy and then we had done a 2D contour strategy to remove out all the material. And we are just left with the whole counter bore and the second setting facing. All right. So diving into the drilling strategies, we can click on drill right here moment we select that the similar looking dialog box that i had told you in the previous videos as well we'll come down to the tool selection button there we'll on the left hand side we have hole making tools inch under that we'll filter out only the center drills so that gives us a, a huge list of center drills i'll select the one by eight inch center drill i'll select the default preset click on select uh, what we'll do is now coming back to the geometry we'll come down we'll select one of the holes and we have an option called as select same diameter this is some option that you will find in drilling and boring as well which i'll talk about later so the moment you click on select same diameter in the same part any diameter with the same uh, any hole with the same diameter will be automatically selected and that way you're not missing out on any of the holes Post this, we'll come down to the geometry, the heights tab, sorry. We'll come down to the heights tab. Here, uh, if you can see in the side view, you'll notice that the center drill is passing through, right? What I would want to do is, since we're using the center bit just to give it a guiding, what we'll do is the bottom height, I will change it. We have a lot of options here. I'll select whole top. So from the whole top, I would want it to go just minus 3 mm and it will give us a good depth of just good guiding spot okay and one thing i want to point out in the drilling strategy is that we have an option called a cycle under that we have various options to choose what we want to do for example drilling rapid out counter boring chip breaking deep drilling full retract and so on including tapping as well so for now i'll select drilling rapid out if you're unsure of the tool and the quality of the tool, you could always come down and change the plunge feed rate to a much lesser feed rate so that the tool is not stretched. The moment you click on OK, you will notice in a couple of seconds, the tool path will be generated and we'll go ahead, simulate the entire thing quickly. Uh, this is the facing, this is the contour and then we have the spot. So if I can go back, reduce the speed coming down to the drilling, you can see it just goes, gives us a small peck, gives us a guiding for the drill bit so that it does not cross, right? And we have this. Now moving to the drilling, what we'll do for the hole, we'll take drill. And here's a quick uh, tool that helps you. You can place your mouse on the drill on the hole that you want to create and it gives you the diameter, right? So that allows us to make the tool selections much easier. On the left hand side, we'll come down to hole making tools metric and I can scroll down and I'll find 3.3 mm drill bit. You can select that default preset I'm going ahead with now. Plunge rate is 1000, just a, a bit too much for a 3.3 drill. I change it to 100 mm per minute and come back to geometry and here we'll do a bit of uh, selections to ensure it is smooth so you can notice i've selected the 3.3 drill uh, and you can also notice the highlighted section right so now what the tool will do is it will start to it will plunge to the whole top and then start drilling right so we don't want that because it will hit the material so what we'll do under height tab we'll come down the top height, either you can give an offset of maybe minus 4 mm, 5 mm, or in simple, what I can do is I can come down to selection, choose the face, and from there I can give an offset. So, what I'll do in this case is I'll just give it an offset of maybe 4 mm, and we'll see if the height is good enough. So, you see it's still below, 
So I'll come down to 5 mm and you can see it's slightly above the part. Again, slightly above the part, which is good for us. And most importantly, the bottom height, we can select drill tip through bottom. So that ensures the drill bit is going through and through. For an additional uh, confirmation, you could always add minus 0 0.5 mm. So that ensures the drill is passing through and through. As for the cycle, I'll make some changes here. I'll come down and select deep drilling full retract. So this gives us a pecking motion, all right? So there's the tool is not shocked. Material removal rate is also good and it's smooth. Okay. Click on OK. Give it a couple of seconds. The tool path is generated and quickly we can simulate this. Now, uh, some of you might be wondering what about the other uh, left out material, right? So for that, I would want to use the boring strategy and remove that material that is why i have split it into multiple options so in the next video we'll look at that as for this video this is how drilling works please feel free to drop in your comments and any doubts are there you can feel free to reach out to me all right so this would be our drilling Thank you, everyone.